The 20th anniversary of the Culpeper Air Fest would not be possible without the support of our presenting sponsors. Our thanks to Cedar Mountain Stone, producer of quality stone products, serving Central Virginia and abroad. Central Mountain Stone is your one stop shop. The Stone BMX Project, whether it be Rip Rap, Armor Stone Restoration Security Bears, or specialty products, Cedar Mountain Stone gets the job done. Check them out online at cedarmtmstone.com. You will see a picture of one of the very first biplanes ever deliver the mail, the famous Curtis J and 4 Jitty. You might know it best from the stand. This wooden biplane was also the trainer for military and civilian pilots, among being one of the first mass-produced airplanes. While very successful in this role, it was modified to carry mail. The front seat was replaced with a mail compartment and a larger motor that gave it extended range. These chinnies were known as JN4Hs, and it was an airplane loved by many, but well, hated by many as well. They were very difficult to fly. The air mail service was originally operated by Army pilots who were familiar with the Jenny from their use in military time. Major Reuben Fleet, in charge of the first flight, was given six JN4 Jennies and oversaw their conversion into air mail use. They were used first by Army pilots in August of 1918 and later by the Post Office Department, who continued to use the Jenny through 1921. On May 15th of 1918, Major Fleet officially established airmail service between New York and Washington, D.C., using his fleet of Army aircraft and pilots. In earlier years, when the Post Office began to use new transportation systems such as railroads and steamboats, they would simply contract to the owners of these lines to carry the mail. No longer able to do that, now a government entity. Flying in now, Culpepper's very own Andrew King as we demonstrate what it's like to deliver the mail back during the early 19-teens with those Curtis Jennings and aircraft like this 1928 Traveler. He is going to be bringing in the land here in just a couple of moments. And this was how the mail was often delivered to places like here, Colfax. This particular travel air that you're seeing was actually used in air mail service and flew from Columbia City, Indiana to Fort Wayne. It was one of the few surviving genuine air mail planes still flying in the United States. And some interesting news is that you can even get a ride in it. How cool would that be? Oh my God! Hey, the one in the purple hat. Oh, the mail, we will see the one in the purple hat. Our old town wow. Model T car. Tony. How you been, man? Demonstrating Good. what it must have looked like way back blind, then. For something as simple yeah. as getting the mail. Blind, I mean, really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I can barely see you. Yeah, this uh, this eye is gone. Uh, and my left eye is gone. So I'm just up here kind of listening to stuff. <laughs> like a big radio. And, and when they hear you're good enough, we'll feel it. That's all good. Tony. Oh, oh hey, come check here. it out. Oh. Pops, how's it doing, man? How are you? Hey, how you doing? 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 Andrew King now taxiing in in that blue travel air with our mail up front in the front seat. Now often the pilots will deliver the mail and of course take mail from right here in Culpeper to towns and cities across America. There goes Andrew King now as he sets out and takes off to the next town to get another mail drop. 
they're not high voltage servos, you can run. I mean, you have to run regulators because. But well, what I'll do is I'll send you my information that I have. Imagine, imagine an old high tech. Okay, an old high tech servo. They're only regulated at six point six trucks. Okay, these light batteries and fiber batteries are now six point six volts. Well, right now, as we see our travel air make its way back to the pit, we're going to be continuing with our air show schedule. And uh, we've got so much more to see, ladies and gentlemen. As still to come, we're going to be seeing a special R22 flight demonstration for you.